61A, lecture number 32, announcements. Lab 12 is due Tuesday, but please do it Monday because you have other things due Tuesday. A checkpoint for the scheme project. We will have lab parties from 3 to 4 and 7 to 8 on Monday, which means Monday is the best day to finish the lab. Homework 8 is due Thursday. We've shortened it relative to its normal length because there's a lot going on this week. Scheme project is due next Tuesday, but you could finish it this week and then you'd have all next week off. Checkpoint 1 is due Tuesday. Checkpoint 2 is due Friday. When you've gotten through checkpoint 2, you've finished most of the project. And if you finish the whole thing by Monday of next week, you'll get an early submission bonus point. We have extra staff and office hours this week and next Monday, so hopefully you won't have to wait too long if you get stuck. But the best way to make sure that you get helped in a timely manner is to make progress every day instead of leaving everything to the last minute. This is one of the busiest weeks in the whole semester, but once you get through it, you'll have a nice Thanksgiving break. There's one more thing we're releasing today, which is completely optional, the Scheme Recursive Art Contest. The Scheme Recursive Art Contest is one of my favorite parts of the course. It's your chance to use your Scheme Interpreter to draw something cool that can be related to 61A or not, but should involve recursion of some kind. You'll use the same drawing primitive procedures that we used to draw Sierpinski's triangle, and people have come up with some really wonderful things in the past. For example, here was a winner in 2012. In 2013, someone figured out how to draw in 3D. And since then, sometimes 3D drawings have won, but sometimes they haven't. Here was the winner in 2015, and in 2018. Some entries are elaborate, some are less so, and one of the best outcomes of the contest is not the winner, but the gallery of all the entries. The way we determine the winner is to take your entry and everybody else's and put them in a web page and let the students vote. So if you're in this course and you don't want to create art, you can still critique art by voting for your favorite entries to the Scheme Recursive Art Contest. And no piece of art is complete without a description, so when you make your entry, you're also allowed to submit a haiku describing it, and that will be published along with the entry and its title in the Scheme Gallery that we create after the entry submission deadline, which is the Monday after Thanksgiving, November 30th. So if you're looking for something to do, feel free to create some art. If you don't, that's okay too. You'll get to look at your peers' art, which often is quite cool. This is completely optional. There is a paltry amount of extra credit given to the winners, but don't do it for the extra credit. Do it for the sake of art. Okay, and back to our regularly scheduled programming sequel. Today we learn about joining tables together, which is an important fundamental operation in SQL, and it's the reason that you might want to use a database to represent your data, instead of just a long list, for example.